summarize what we have discussed so we talk about engineering mechanics right so it is a branch of science talks about the motion of the bodies so it has three branches the statics concerns about the bodies at rest the dynamics of rigid bodies we have the kinematics talks about the position the acceleration the velocity displacement of the particle uh, without regarding the forces and then also the kinetics talks about the bodies in motion uh, with respect to forces okay so we discussed rectilinear motion when we say rectilinear motion it is a motion along a straight line recti means straight of course in the word linear it means light so it means the rectilinear motion is motion in straight line or straight line motion then we talk about position so position is a vector quantity it is the position of a particle the zone it has a magnitude since it is a vector quantity and also the direction we use the symbol s to denote position we also talk about velocity so we not a velocity we have the average velocity that is the change of position over the change of time now the change of position we call that displacement so when we talk about change magamit yung taog delta s that is change in position So, uh, velocity is the change of possession over time, and also the instantaneous velocity is the derivative of the position with respect to time. And the, then, then the acceleration is just the second derivative of the position with respect to time, or also called as the first derivative or just the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. Okay, so in solving our problems or different problems, no, we should first know if the problem talks about constant acceleration or the non-constant acceleration. For our first set of equations, kinematic equations, So, katong non-constant, we have the acceleration, as mentioned earlier, is equal to dv over dt. And then, the velocity is just equal to ds, or the derivative of s with respect to time, or ds over dt. Now, equating these two with the, their similarities, no? dt is equal to uh, dv over a, dt is equal to ds over v, then we will come up with this uh, equation dv over a is equal to ds over v and then finally with this equation a ds is equal to v dv so these three are important equation to remember to be remembered as we move along our discussion so the second equations second set of kinematic equations nga uh, consider of constant acceleration kato atong akong mentioned earlier we have the uh, the final position is equal to the initial position plus the initial velocity times time plus or minus half of the product of the acceleration times uh, and the square of time and, the square. and then the next one is the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus or minus the acceleration uh, times time and then we have the final one the final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus or minus twice the acceleration times the displacement katong final position minus initial position so to recall if a particle is moving to the right our Sign convention for S should be positive. For the velocity, it should be positive. For the acceleration, also positive. 
Same also if the object is goes upwards. If the object goes to the left or downwards, sign convention for this position is negative, sign convention for the velocity is negative, and sign convention for the acceleration is negative. So I hope you learned something from our discussions. And I'm looking forward that you can answer this activity here uh, shown in your module. Okay, thank you and have a great day ahead. God bless.